This is the teal and orange look. It is the go-to look in the film industry, but it's also very popular, if not more popular, with YouTubers. Today, I'm going to show you how to get the YouTube teal and orange look so that you can improve your channel or professional videos. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. Here, I have ungraded footage shot on the Fujifilm X-T3. Now, like I said before, this look is very different from the teal and orange look in the Hollywood industry. And if you wanna learn how to get the Hollywood look, I'll leave a link in the description below. First, what we're gonna do, since most YouTubers are working in Rec. 709, or they're working in a log and then convert to Rec. 709 with a LUT, we're going to use the color space transform node. Let's see here, color space transform. I'm gonna drag it and drop it onto here. I'm going to put in my camera's color space, F log, then go down 709. And for the output, I'm gonna put gamma 2.4. This converts it to 709. I'm gonna type in 709 here. I'm gonna add a corrector node. When you're working with this footage, first you wanna add a few nodes and then name them. This one, I'll put exposure. For this one, I'll put contrast. The next one I will put saturation and finally i will put the look now for here you can see if we look at the waveform the exposure is a bit high so what i'll go and do is put in my color space and my gamma my original color space and gamma into the hdr wheels tab now i will drag this down until i get it to look like how i want i will do negative point Seven. Now that looks a little bit dark, but it's okay because we'll fix it with our contrast. What you want to do is go to the curves, select a point on the graph, select the highlight on the graph, and bring down those blacks, kind of get them crunchy. For a lot of YouTubers, they like that high contrast look. They also like it to be a little more moody. You can see now it pops a lot more. Then we'll go to saturation. Honestly, this is pretty much what taste right now it's looking good i know some youtubers they like it more saturated a lot of others like it desaturated right now i'll just leave it for now we'll come back to that later now for the look a lot of the times they don't do it really correctly but that's part of the youtube look first what they'll do is they'll bring their shadows a little more blue they'll bring their highlights a little more teal that is one way of doing it that's the first way of doing it. the second way of doing it which is a little more popular is they will select the oranges in the image kind of like that like the orange and reds then they'll clean it up a bit and once they have that selected they will invert it so that they're affecting the outer stuff and everything but the oranges next what they do here the offset and they'll bring it more teal and you can see that it works pretty well the only problem is you might get artifacting by doing it this way but since this is how youtubers usually do it i'm going to do it this way if you want to do it the other way youtubers also do it that way too but it's not as common they usually do this now this saturation is very saturated so i might turn it down just a little bit now moving on they might adjust the hues so let's say there's a few things in this image that i want to make more orange and teal so what they might do is they'll go to the hue versus hue tab and they'll really hone in on the teal and orange look once we have that the orange and teal look that they usually do they usually bring up the saturation on the reds a little bit on the yellows and like just mainly the oranges same with the blues up it with the teal and that creates more separation and they might actually actually bring the greens down, the magentas down, and any other color they might not want. Another thing they might do with the teal and orange look that isn't popular in Hollywood, but it's very popular on YouTube is, I'll name that Luma, but what they'll do is they'll go to this tab, grab the highs, grab the lows, and you can see in the shadows, they're kind of blue. Sometimes they'll leave that, sometimes they won't like it. So what they'll do is they'll bring down this and what this does is it desaturates the shadows now usually if you were doing this you'd want to go into your log tabs right here and you would move this in the opposite direction so that you would basically even out and correct for that blue tint but instead what they're doing is they're just desaturating it and they do the same thing for the highlights sometimes and i'll show you the before and the after 
this right here, I'm going to make it more intense. Once you're done playing around, this is like the basic look of how they do it on YouTube. The last and most important thing that you want to do is you want to sharpen your image. You sharpen it a little more than what you expect because they want it to pop. So this is how the image looked before. Turn on the exposure. We made it a little darker because our footage was overexposed. Next, we put in the contrast to make it punchy, like a lot of YouTubers have it. The saturated, we kind of desaturated it, not that much. Then, for the look, we selected the oranges, we made a mask, we inverted that so that we could affect the rest of the image, and we made it blue and teal. For the hues, we just adjusted them to make them a little more coherent. You don't have to do this step, so we can see what it looks like when we turn it off. Then the Luma, we adjust the shadows and the highlights to correct them, but we corrected them in a way that YouTubers usually do it, at least back in the day. And then we have the sharpness, which obviously makes it pop more. It looks more natural without the hue change, but if you really want that teal and orange look and you want it to be very heavy, I would use the hue. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you have a good day and keep color grading.